The core paradigm has three thinking flaws. The core paradigm. Managers of service organisations manage with the following equation. How much work is coming in? How many people do I have? And how long do they take to do stuff? When demand rises, they increase resources, try to get people to work more quickly, try to put more work into self-service, so customers do the work, and or outsource the work to lower cost providers, all to little avail. The core paradigm has three major flaws. One, treating all demand as work to be done. It is to ignore failure demand. Often you learn that failure demand accounts for as much as 80% of the demand coming into service organisations. Removing failure demand represents a great opportunity to increase capacity. Ignoring the nature of demand is to ignore one of the greatest levers you have for improving performance. Two, assuming the worker can be held accountable for the work they do. Managers manage their workers' activity, how many things they do, how many calls they take, how many folders they open and do things to, how long they take to do each task, and so on. But in truth, more than 95% of workers' performance is attributable to the system, the way the work works. Managing the workers' activity is to focus on the 5%, an incredible waste of human talent. Worse than that, managing activity drives costs up. 3. Doing anything that prevents the service from absorbing variety. Ignoring the nature of demand and managing activity will stop any service from absorbing variety. So do standardization and specialization, two common features of conventional service design. The core paradigm may be conventional, but it is flawed. It focuses managers on the wrong things and keeps them blind to the major opportunities they have to improve performance. Managers believe in the core paradigm because they believe it's their job to work on the people. It is a fundamental error. Management's job is to work on the system.